simple breakdown of how to set the gain on your amplifier without uh, using an O-scope. Uh, if you just have a basic multimeter, uh, you can do basic math and achieve almost the same thing. An O-scope is going to be way better. It's going to be way more precise, but if you're on the fly and just want to get a really close number, um, this is some simple math you can do to uh, achieve that. So obviously you'll need a multimeter and you'll need an amplifier. That's just one I had laying around, but um, I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, so you're basically what you're going to want to do to get the voltage that you're going to want to set your multimeter at. You're going to want to take the square root of the RMS wattage that you want to achieve times the final ohm load that you're going to use at the amplifier. So this amplifier, I believe, is a 2 ohm amplifier. So uh, the final ohm load would be 2. So what you're going to do, and just ballpark, I'm just throwing random numbers out there. Uh, we'll say uh, a 500 watt, two 500 watt subs. So 1,000 watts. Okay. If you want to times that. And the final ohm load we're going to want is 2. Obviously... Your ohm load is going to base on whatever your subwoofers are, dual 4s, dual 2s, dual 1. I mean, there's tons of 0.7s, 0.5s. There's, there's different ones you can wire down to, but you're going to want to do whatever your ampli excuse me, amplifier uh, is rated for. So what you're going to want to do is literally just take a basic calculator and do the square, square root Sorry, of... A thousand times two, and that will give you, I believe it's 44 point something. But, anyways, uh, that will give you your volts. So, you'll basically what you'll do then now that you have the proper voltage that you want you'll then take your multimeter set it to volts and you'll come over here and you'll put the positive and negative in the speaker terminals okay obviously you'll have the amp turned on everything will be hooked up you know signal everything will be there you just won't plug in your speaker wires you'll leave them out but you'll plug in the multimeter set it to volts then what you'll do is you'll come up here on the top of your amp or side or wherever it's at and this one is input sensitivity um, usually it'll say gain but and then what you'll do with the multimeter hooked up is you'll just take and turn the gain until you see the proper voltage coming out of the multimeter once you do that you know your gain is set properly you're not clipping and you're getting the wattage that you're looking for uh, if you have any other questions or input, or if I missed a step or skipped something, I'm just kind of doing this quick and random. But, um, uh, yeah, if I missed anything, just, uh, yeah, let me know, and uh, I'll correct it. But that's that's pretty basic on what you need to do to set the gain on your amplifier. Mm -hmm.